Welcome to Taking Control of Cancer, the brand new podcast from the North East London Cancer Alliance. I'm Steve Bland, and over the next 10 episodes, we're going to be looking at ways that you can take control of cancer. That's what this podcast is all about. And here's a little flavour of what you can expect. I diagnosed an appendicitis one day over the phone. He said, you're a magician, how did you know that? And I said, I'm not a magician, I know you. When I say a wide variety of community settings, it is a wide variety. I've had, over the last year, a great time doing this campaign. Whoa, then you're just giving me ideas. The key thing about laughter is that it does reduce stress. So we sat down and he talked to him, this is how it happens. And, he said, and I can see where the cancer is, so I'm going to do it. And this is the first time I've been told. And it was just matter of fact like that. And I didn't hear the rest of what you said. We call it, in the medical field, we call it stage shift. So bring the stage of lung cancer down so that we can offer the best treatment with the best chance of a cure. The biggest thing, though, and as lots of people that will know that have had a diagnosis of cancer, is it doesn't just affect the person that gets the diagnosis. It can also be as difficult for the friends and family as well. And that's why Maggie Seed saw a need for a different kind of cancer care. And that's what we do here at Maggie's. He, he, just, he just basically saw on my face that it didn't really register that I've got cancer. So he said, look, you know what I'm, what I'm saying to you? I say, you've got cancer. And then that's when it just hit us. As a GP, I, I'd like to like do, do more. And one of the things I've done, this may be a bit out of the box and I know I'm not a typical GP but I'm 51 now so I got invited for my own mammogram uh, two months ago Uh, and I rang up some people I know in the NHS England media team and I said would you like to video me having my mammogram (laughs) and they were like yeah we'd love to and I said I'd really like to put it out there. We have seven boroughs and as you say, the population is extremely diverse, um, not only in ethnicity, but also in age. Uh, and we've got a quite a big growth in this, this area as well in North East London. Um, so one of the challenges that we have is, uh, you know, the different languages. So, for example, in Newham, um, the different number of different languages spoken in that borough is about 100 so it's quite challenging therefore to deliver health care and to get some of the messages across that you might need to support early an earlier diagnosis it's that community engagement it's that community discussion it's that you know it's the stands outside is it's the conversation with faith leaders it's you know presenting at you know after football games and think those are the things that really make a difference not the standard um, just not the standard, and especially particularly for our patch because it is very diverse. I mean, we've got fifty three percent. I mean, the minority is is fifty three percent in this in northeast London. Yeah. So it's you know so the different the different cultures that we have, the different beliefs that are there requires more of a personal touch to just encourage people to be able to have those conversations. But most importantly, for people to to actually do something about any symptoms or understand symptoms. One of the approaches we've had is actually to go into schools because we found that if we raise awareness in school children, that won't, they'll actually go home and talk about cancer mm. and then it sort of not normalises it but becomes something that can be spoken. Look at the vulva, feel it, any red, dark, whiter depending on your skin tone, raised, lumps, bumps, soreness, a change in a a, a mole, any skin that feels sore, tender, any open sores, any itches inside the vagina for vaginal cancer, outside on the vulva for vulval cancer. I'm trying my best to manage it as well as I can, but I'm not going to let it rule my life. We're a big community now and it's it's like a sisterhood. Like every time I would go to to one of the, the support groups, you just leave being uplifted and you feel like you can you can get through this don't 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 suffer in silence there's so much support out there um to help you come back i came back to break the world record you know so it is possible that's taking control of cancer the brand new podcast from the northeast london cancer alliance and it's coming soon